He may be the oldest player in the top 16, with a wealth of experience behind him, but there is no time like the present for FC Barcelona Lassa point guard Carlos Arroyo. Now 36 years old, his career has taken Arroyo practically everywhere, from his native Puerto Rico to Miami and Tel Aviv, through Vitoria to Detroit and Istanbul, and several more stops along the way. But there was one more place where Arroyo always wanted to try his luck. And when the call came last summer asking him to join Barcelona, Arroyo finally saw one of his basketball wishes come true. It was a dream of mine, man. It was something that I really wanted to be a part of. Uh, Barcelona is one of the top teams in Europe for many years. In, uh, uh, the history and uh, the respect that this club has is, is something that I just, it intrigued me, you know, I wanted to be a part of and I always used to tell my agents, you know, try to make that phone call, make that phone call, you know, every time I was free in the summer. Upon arrival in Barcelona, Arroyo delivered more than nine points and three assists per game in the regular season before an injury sidelined him for two months. Now that he has returned to help Barcelona get back on track in the top 16, his role as a veteran leader only stands to grow in a heated playoff race. It is a role that Arroyo takes to heart, knowing that he follows in the footsteps of former Puerto Rican stars Picolin Ortiz, Ramon Rivas and Daniel Santiago, who wore the Barcelona jersey before him. It also uh, uh, gives me a, a sense of responsibility, you know, uh, to do it with pride and, and honor and respect because I know those guys, you know, uh, well, and I know what they represent in my country and uh, what how well they've done in their career. So um, I just, you know, I want to do it with pride. I want to do it the right way, uh, the best I can, and just take advantage of the opportunity. And indeed, Arroyo is making use of this opportunity. In fact, he has had no trouble at all to adapt to a new team and bring his leadership, mainly thanks to his vast experience on basketball courts over the years. Because of my position, uh, you know, I have to be the vocal guy on the court. You know, I have to, you know, call plays, be the coach out there, be the message that the coach, uh, you know, is sending out there. You know. Uh, uh, coaching standpoint, you know, and um, just help in any way I can, you know. Hopefully my experience is, uh, is a factor for the young guys and for this team and uh, and uh, the ability that I have to play the game, you know, you know, unselfishly and, and just play the game. Have fun doing it, but at the same time, you know, do what we respect. Despite his age, pretty advanced for a high-level professional player, Arroyo just doesn't slow down. He finds it easy to find his drive to keep on going after all these years. I'm very passionate, man. I love the game. I love the game. I, I try to uh, stay healthy as much as I can, eat right, you know, get uh, as much rest as I can. But uh, I work. I work a lot. You know, I dedicate myself to the game uh, a lot. and. Uh, you know, I'm very passionate, and I think that's what drives me is, is the love for the game. You know, uh, basketball has given me so much, and I just I, I feel indebted to the game. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, I need to give more and more and more. It is because the stage of his career that he's at that Arroyo embraces this experience with Barcelona as probably the best shot he will ever have at getting to the Final Four, and if things work out, winning it. Man, it's, it's one of my dreams, you know, to, to be able to play in the Final Four here in the EuroLeague because it's, it's something that I, I know the meaning of it. Uh, and now I'm in a team that, uh, not discrediting, you know, all the other teams that I was a part of. But I think I have a, a good chance with Barcelona to, to, to be that team that reaches the Final Four and win the EuroLeague once again. So I'm praying, I'm praying, you know, it's going to take a lot of hard work and sacrifice from all of us, but uh, we have the team to do it.